So if you can see just underneath here, there's a lump, quite oh. large, it's quite prominent. That is not a, a pretty sight, is it, baby? Oh dear. The challenge of anaesthetising birds is that the anaesthetic itself can be quite risky. Sometimes they can just simply die under anaesthetic. So I know that's upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a big space in everyone's heart. Good girl. Good girl. In Isleworth, animal rescuer Emma has brought in a very special... Hello. Hello. <laughs> and talkative patient to see Scott. Ah, come on baby, good girl. I'm really passionate about the animals, I, do. I love them all like they're my own. Ruby is a galah, a cockatoo species and like Scott, comes from Australia. Ah. We all adore her, we just love her, she's such a great character. She's funny, she, she talks, she sends kisses, she's just brilliant. Ruby. Come on, baby. Hi there, Emma. How are you? Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Oh my gosh, who is this beautiful little one? This is Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Hey. Come on, gorgeous girl. Oh my Say gosh. Hello. I've got to get this bird out of that cage. <laughs> Come on, coming into the consult room. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Reminds me of home. Oh, we have these flying over the skies of Brisbane. Hello. Gosh, hello, beautiful. <gasps> she even smells like home. <laughs> you smell like a gum tree. Oh my gosh. I think it's true love. <laughs> <laughs> She's found her forever home. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm really hoping that my wife isn't watching this because I've developed quite the eye for Ruby. She is quite the ravishing Aussie bird and she's just lovely. But what's the reason she's here today? So if you can see just underneath here, there's a lump, quite oh. large, it's quite prominent. That's a whopper, isn't it's it? It's in the way, really, really uncomfortable for her. I mean, it, it's almost like she's laid an egg and it's got stuck. Yeah, yeah. That is not a, a pretty sight, is it, baby? Oh dear. Every animal that we deal with, you form some sort of bond and attachment to. So I'm feeling very nervous for Ruby. Okay, so looking at that, I'm hopeful that it's going to be something called the lipoma, which is a fatty growth. Yeah. And very quickly, these types of tumours grow quickly. We absolutely need to perform surgery. There is no question about that. But the challenge of anaesthetising birds is that the anaesthetic itself can be quite risky. Birds breathe in a different way. They have air sacs which retain some of the air that they're breathing in. So the anaesthetic is always really difficult. Sometimes they can just simply die under yeah. anaesthetic. So I know that's upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. She's got a big space in everyone's heart. So. Yeah. There is also the possibility that the tumour could be something not very nice. And I'm hoping it's a fatty growth, but sometimes it can also be something that is life limiting. Explaining the risks with Emma, I can see how emotional she is and she does shed a tear over her concerns for this gorgeous bird. She really has an amazing relationship with Ruby. She seems to absolutely love this little Aussie icon. It is upsetting to consider, but in this instance, we kind of do need to do something. Yeah, yeah. We'll get rid of the lump and then you're not allowed to have it anymore. All right. Emma is worried but agrees to proceed with the high-risk surgery. Say bye, Auntie Emma. Bye bye, Dad. Good girl. I'm really, really anxious. My chest is so tight with worry. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hello. So look what I've got. I'm so excited to introduce you to the gorgeous Ruby. So you can see back here, she's got a nasty oh, yeah. lump. Look at that. Yeah. It's about as big as your head, isn't it, my love? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes. So I take it we're taking that off. Yes. So the main things with bird anaesthetics is ensuring, of course, that they're breathing because they do go deep and shallow in anaesthetic very quickly. And then we'll do the quickest job possible to remove this mass. And hopefully she can go back to Auntie Emma's house. Yeah. Yeah. After introducing Ready? Ruby to nurses Gina and Jason, Scott gives her a mild sedation. Good girl, it's all right. She's then placed in an oxygen tank to prepare her for surgery. It's just the best way that we can ensure that she gets enough oxygen in her system to avoid any issues with the anaesthetic. All right, you ready? We can, just use a chin just there. If you use your finger just to get under there, that's perfect. Okay, great. All right, so everyone's happy. But before surgery gets underway, Scott makes a worrying discovery. It's so big and it's so it's actually attached to that skin, so I'm not going to be able to do what I thought I was going to do initially. You have to think not only can I take it off, but also can I close the skin that you leave, and that's going to be the big challenge with her. I'm hoping the surgery will go well, but is this tumour malignant or benign? I won't know until I get in. Gosh, it's humongous. He's also extremely worried about how Ruby will cope under anaesthetic. Birds are so sensitive, they're so delicate, and even the best managed anaesthetic can lead with them, unfortunately, passing away. So that does increase the nerves. I can hear it there. Yeah, it's beating. I can hear it. Yeah, oh, yeah. OK, that's good. So it's incredibly reassuring to be able to hear your patient's heart beating. Um, if you could hear my heart beating, you could hear that it's beating quite fast. <laughs> but it's a very precious little patient and actually I've grown quite fond of her. This is the main bit coming out now. Massive. The size yeah. of it. Oh, look, as big as her head. The main lump has now gone. But Scott discovers you'll have to remove even more potentially cancerous tissue at the risk of damaging vital nerves. It's just really annoying because it's normally lipomas in cats or dogs are like this, like, like almost like a breast implant, you know, and you just pop them out. This is not like that. This tumour gets actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. It's very close to the vent, the kind of external opening, the, the bum basically of the bird. And so there is a lot of nerves there and it's really important that I manage those. This tumour is going quite deeply into Ruby's body. And if I don't follow it and remove all of it, then it'll just grow back and then it's pointless. So I need to take the risk to get it out because there's, there's more risks to come if I don't. Oh, man. God, this thing, it goes so far in. But the amount of extra tissue he needs to cut out is more than he originally thought. You just can't find the heart rate at the moment. The extra time under anaesthetic makes him worried Ruby might not survive the operation. Is that slowing down? It was. It's All right now? It's OK now. OK. That heartbeat, I can hear it there. I'll tell you what, it is reassuring hearing that heartbeat. You can tell everyone's nervous because everyone's quiet. Moved as much as I dare. With Ruby's heart rate still a concern, Scott is sewing up the wound as quickly as possible. How's she doing? Is she alright? Thankfully, there is enough skin to cover the area. The lump itself has stretched the skin quite a lot, so that's not such a big issue. No high fives just yet. We'll wait until she wakes up before we can celebrate. That was way harder than I thought it was going to be. I am so relieved that Ruby has made it through the surgery. There was loads of hurdles to jump. The anaesthetic is always risky in birds. The mass was huge. It had huge roots going really deeply. And then I was a little bit worried, could I close it? Did I have enough skin? And I'm really glad that it's over.
It's been a longer than I expected anaesthetic just because the lipoma wasn't just superficial, it really was going right down and into her body. So it's just a bit of a nervous wait now for Ruby to wake up. Hi baby. Hi. Are you open? In Isleworth, Ruby the Australian Galah is slowly recovering from high risk surgery. It's really nice to see Ruby waking up. She's a real cutie, isn't she? Like just so pretty and delicate. Animal rescuer Emma is waiting nervously to see the adored bird she's given a second chance at life. Can't wait to see her again. Knowing that she's all right is just an amazing feeling. Hi. <laughs> Here's Hello, your girl. Oh, look at her. There she is. She's got some crazy neckwear, which she is really unimpressed <laughs> with. Hi, baby. <laughs> the surgery went well, but it was a bit trickier than I thought, okay. uh, in that the, the tumour was sort of growing quite deep. I've managed to remove it, but it was challenging. But I think that we should get a good result here. Okay. And she went through the anaesthetic well, haven't you? And you're still, a, you're still a happy dozy. girl. <laughs> a little bit dozy, I think, aren't you? Now this lump is off, I really hope that Ruby's life will really begin. It was clearly a source of discomfort for the bird and it's gone now and hopefully she'll live a full and happy life. I'm pretty confident that the lump is not life limiting. So, so grateful to Dr. Scott and his team. They're amazing. Hopefully she'll be all right. Fingers crossed, yeah, she'll be going off to that new forever home, yeah. She is a sweetheart. If it happens that she doesn't end up finding the home, let me know. Yeah, I'll be giving you a call. Because, yes, I think she's just something quite special, actually. She is amazing. After all this time being a vet, I must say I'm still a sucker for someone who dedicates their life to rescuing animals and Emma's just one of those people you know she just swoops in and rescues these animals that desperately need her help so I'm always going to help people like that. Bye baby girl see you later. Thank you. Bye gorgeous. See you later. Thank you. Bye. Say bye Ruby. Bye. This is definitely the best feeling in the world the best outcome. Ruby. Ruby. Hello. Hello. Step up. Step up. Kiss. One month after Ruby the Galah's tumour removal, Scott has a surprise new resident at his London home. There we go. Whoopsie. Hello. Hello. After her surgery, Ruby recovered with the charity and I just couldn't stop thinking about her. <laughs> so... I spoke to my wife and spoke to the kids and we decided that we were going to try and take you home, didn't we? I have to say, a bit smitten. <laughs> Just love her. Kiss. Hello. But due to a cruel good twist girl. of fate, See, good girl. Scott's love affair with his fellow Australian is destined to be short-lived. Hello. It's not the happy end that I'd hoped. My wife Zoe, unfortunately, has a rather violent allergy to birds, which she didn't know about. But she's struggling to breathe and on medication. Good girl. Come on then. Let's go. Thankfully, we have found her another loving home to go to. It's just heartbreaking that it's not ours. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way.